It's funny sometimes when you have an idea and the idea is so clear that every single thing you do just falls into place. That was exactly what happened when I made A Midsummer Dream based on the Shakespeare play A Midsummer Night's Dream. The story, of course, is about a mischievous sprite who has a magic potion that when he drops it in your eye, it makes you fall in love. So Puck was the sprite of Oberon, the king of the fairies. And Oberon said he wanted to play a game on the humans because he thought the way we fell in love was stupid and preposterous. So with one drop of this special, special potion, this love potion, when you awoke the first person you saw, you lost your heart to. We hear about Tatiana, who lay on a bed of musk and rose when she dreamt of falling in love. And so to add to the beauty of that dream, I added a little vanilla, which enhances all sensation of pleasure. And we also hear of Hermia falling asleep on a bed of moss. And so moss play a central theme in this perfume too. But because the sprite, the one that does the magic, is called Puck, and another name for him is Fawn, it made me think of flora and fauna. And so the floral aspects make its homage to the woodland, not this time for the wood and the mosses, but for the flowers which grow there. So of course, in A Midsummer Dream, it's all about the blur of reality and the dream world, as each of them fall asleep and then wake up and fall in love, only to fall asleep again. So one thing that I hope A Midsummer Dream does is it helps make all of our dreams just that little bit more attainable. It helps our dreams be no longer a dream, but become reality. So if you don't know it, come and spray it, burn it in your home, and see what this magical potion does to enhance your pleasure and the game of love itself.